Okay, so lowest cost path means that you know we minimize these numbers. Um, and so the brute force method means you check out every possible Hamiltonian circuit. So I recommend against that. Uh, I don't know if it'd be too bad with this one, but um, you know, trying to check every single possible circuit here would take forever. Um, what we can do instead is use the multiple choice and just figure out the the cost for each of these circuits. Okay. So A to B, I'm looking at this first one, A, B, C, F. From A to B, it's a cost of 2. Uh, from B to C, that's a cost of 4. From C to F, that's a cost of 7. From F to I, that's a cost of 9. From H to G, from F to I, sorry, I to H, I can't skip over that one, we did 2, 4, 7, 9, 3. I to H, now from H to G, that's a cost of 8. From G to D, that's a cost of 1. And from D to E, that's a cost of 1. But then we don't, we can't go from E to A, there's no edge there, so this actually isn't even a Hamiltonian circuit. Let's see, actually, can we do one? One, two, two, two. I don't know if there's a way to do a Hamiltonian circuit here. To go from A down here. I don't think there's even a Hamiltonian circuit because a Hamiltonian circuit is where you visit every vertex, but you only um, you only touch each vertex once. And so I think you could do a similar thing here. Uh, going directly from G to A, you have to pass through vertex D, so that one doesn't count. Okay, A to D, G to H, A to D, D to G. E to D, D to G, G to H, H to E, E to B, that's fine, B to C, C to F, F to I, I to A, there is no vertex there, so there's no Hamiltonian circuit for this one. Okay, but if there was one, um, you know, check all these routes, make sure they actually check out as Hamiltonian circuits, and then you just have to do that process I was doing off to the side there, you just have to add each one. Okay.